Merry Christmas, boys. How well versed are y'all in the Hallmark holiday movie lore? I'm not would convinced it... I've ever seen one. I don't know what I that would... is. I would call it a hallmark of my childhood home, actually. <laughs> Okay, so I, I have a task for you, similar to how Ben had a task for us a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm getting my comeuppance. You are, exactly. So <laughs> Hallmark holiday movies are a staple of the season, okay? People watch them. People, I guess, love them. They are all bad, but they are <laughs> indeed beloved. So what I'm asking for you guys to do is I need a title for a Hallmark movie, and Easy. I need a story synopsis, okay? This sounds super simple, right? I think so. Okay. Right. Can, it has to include a few things. Sure. Things sure. that we actually need to have in our movies that we are creating is we need a town or a character whose name is Christmas related, okay? Mm. Got it. We need one character that has to dislike Christmas. We need some sort of magic involved. And there needs to be one washed up actor or actress that is in the movie, okay? I need you yeah. to give me all of those things, okay. a title and a story synopsis, and I need it uh, before Christmas, yeah. Doable. Makes okay. Sense. So ideally we all succeed at this if we have four identical stories because then we have Perfect. We've become Hallmark writers. If if yes, if we if we yeah. if we each write the same movie, I will then send this video to Hallmark, and I believe we will then have new occupations. Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. What a pitch. Exactly. Um. So basically, do this, and this will be the greatest gift I've ever gotten. Also, I yeah. do demand that you all also get me a gift. Oh. Mm. Um. Now that's asking a little too much. Okay. Nah. <laughs> All right. Can you at least think about getting me a gift? Because it is the thought that counts. I am not going to think about you from the moment I end this call. All right. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Bye. So I definitely have an idea, and I know what actress I'm going to use. Okay. So to be honest, I kind of totally forgot about doing this uh, until the last possible minute. But... I can't imagine that that's going to have any effect on my overall story or anything to do with this because I'm a genius. So let's get writing. I got to be honest, guys. This one's thrown me for a loop. I mean, trying to come up with like a like a Hallmark movie, that's not really something I do a lot. Everything I know about Hallmark Christmas movies, I learned from an expert on the subject. I think what everyone else is going to do is they are going to be doing a romance and i think i'm going to set mine apart by doing like a family story uh, and i have the perfect casting i've been staring at my screen trying to you know come up with stuff and it, it, at times it feels like just looking into a void and then it's like it hang on a second and what he taught me is that there's a subgenre of the Hallmark Christmas movie, a very popular one, that involves a prince and or a princess. So I think that's the angle I'm going to take. I might have something with that. All right. I just hope the boys like it. And I hope it lands. This is the Hallmark movie. Am I even funny? I don't even know if I'm funny. Is this even gonna work? What the hell, this is a terrible idea. Hey, how'd your writing go? Hope it went well. So we're I, back. Yeah. It's been mm -hmm. about a week. I hope you had a good time coming up with something. But I think we're gonna start off here with Alan Havens. So Alan, mm -hmm. hit oh. us with what you got. Tell right. us oh, tell oh, us oh. if Hallmark's gonna make this flick. So I'm ready. Yeah, no, guys, none of you guys got something as wholesome as I do. So uh, okay. buckle in, strap up. That doesn't make any Which sense. Which one? All right. Ooh, strap <laughs> strap up. up. Both, I think, are fine. <laughs> so my story takes place in North Pole, Alaska, which is a, actually a real place. So yeah. I looked up Christmas towns. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, where many of the townsfolk are fed up with Christmas. 
They're even campaigning to change the town's name. Now, oh. this is spearheaded by Jill, who's played by a white woman. We're not breaking <laughs> the wheel here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thankfully, the town is visited by a friendly old man who is determined to change Jill and the entire town's mind. And who better to persuade them and fill those Christmas sweaters than America's favorite family comedian, Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Weird reaction, but we'll get right into it. I, hilarious dude, seriously. And, and there will be some comedy moments, so, like, your laughs will be, trust me, they'll be filled. So how does Bill do this? See, Bill is magic, and he's here to spread <laughs> to people whether they like it or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, this, whole time. the story will follow bill going around meeting people and changing their lives forever <laughs> in in one scene we may have bill belting a christmas hymn on top of a rooftop and in, and in another scene we'll have him meet someone in a bar and just <laughs> And despite their initial reluctance, changes <laughs> their heart. It's honestly touching stuff. Now, the important thing is that we have Bill create a bond with these people, and Ooh. then once they trust him, he has them sleep and fills their head with Christmas joy. <laughs> kind of think of him like a like a Sandman, you know, like putting people to sleep, like Mr. Sandman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, Chris. Mr. Okay, Cosby. Guys. Yeah. So, okay. I feel, I feel like I'm not getting the reaction that I expected from you guys. Do you guys not think Bill Cosby is capable of this? Like, no. He sounds capable. Do... Yeah. This. I, but if... I, I feel like this could be the type of thing to define Bill's legacy in his later years. <laughs> this yeah. Seems, this seems right up his alley. I think. Yeah. Picked, I think like, you've picked the right lead here. I'm getting like I'm getting weird. Like, did, did something happen? Oh shit. no! No, no, nothing. Did Bill die? Yes. No, he's still hold he's, on, hold on, he's still hold kicking on. it. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> well, that's regrettable. I yeah. <laughs> well, I, okay. Well, I, I had a. I had a title and a movie poster, but I. Well, no, no, well, hold on. No, we can't wait. We, we gotta I see it. Yeah, no, I wanna wait. see him. It, it, it kind of feels like it's in bad taste. No, 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 no. We gotta see it. We gotta see it. Uh, Bring it in. No, I, I worked really fucking hard on it. I, we gotta mm -hmm. see it. We gotta yeah, yeah, I think, you, I think yeah. you gotta show it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking a Christmas 2022 release. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Threatening. Look, I, I also see now the error of my ways. I didn't have a lot of time to research this. I did this at the last minute. Sleep with me. <laughs> <laughs> like I like the man. comma. The comma is important. Yeah. You better not <laughs> shout. <laughs> yeah, the line was supposed to be a play on a Christmas song, but I realize now that that was probably a bad idea. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, guys. Do you do you, oh. do you do you think Hallmark would green like this? Mm. <laughs> I do. Honestly, yep. yeah, yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, okay. Well, okay. I, I think you've think, got a job. Do we got time to recast? That? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Great job, Alan. Holy shit! <laughs> you cheeky bastard. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, uh, Ben. Would you like to go next? So I, I saw your template for this, um, but there was one thing that I've heard is also prevalent in a lot of these movies. Um, and I think there's usually like a prince or princess. There's a, at least there's a subgenre involving that. So I took that angle. So my mine is called True Love's First Christmas. Oh, That's beautiful. Oh. beautiful. Yeah. So very sweet. Um, the main character, Holly, played by white woman. Um, didn't, didn't feel like ho <laughs> didn't feel like casting that. How'd you land her? So, yeah, I right? can't believe I, you got a white woman. It, it took a lot of money, man. Um, so Ho Holly is a single mom 
she hates Christmas because her father died on Christmas. <gasps> oh. Um, yeah, but the movie opens on December thirteenth with her telling her son that she won't be home for Christmas because she has an important business meeting in Denver. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Beautiful. City. Not Colorado. And worse, oh, yeah. she snaps at him when he protests. So that <laughs> night, after they go to bed, she's visited by an evil spirit portrayed by James Corden. <laughs> That son of a bitch! <laughs> that son that, of a bitch! That son of a bitch! Damn Merry it. Christmas, Zach. <laughs> he, and, and James Corden explains to her that due to her mean behavior towards her son, he's going to magically transport her to the kingdom of Garlandi. To get home, and to get home, she has 12 days to make the prince, portrayed by Ralph Macchio, fall in love with her before midnight on Christmas Day. <laughs> Ralph Macchio! <laughs> <laughs> yep, we said washed right, up. The Karate Kid himself. <laughs> Holy up. shit! Gordon was washed up. Oh, <laughs> we know white woman ain't washed up. No, white mm -hmm. woman's at yeah, the white, peak of her career. White woman is always relevant. Yes. Mm -hmm. White woman been doing it for years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she she gets transported to Garlandia, um, and at first she's just a little bit bummed out, uh, but she starts to get to know the prince, and he takes her to his hometown. Which is snowy in the pretty and convenient way, you know, no slush. Um, okay, right, no accidents. And, right? Mm, so. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, and it's beautifully de decorated for Christmas. I mean, every house, like, balls to the wall, you know? Um, so they see families enjoying the season, and it makes her realize the true meaning of Christmas, trademark. So, <laughs> you TM'd it? You just TM'd the yeah, true in, meaning in of text, Christmas? Yeah, yes. Yep, the, we we own that now. Sick. <laughs> Fuck you, Ralph Macchio. The previous right. owner. <laughs> so, after this, it it cuts to just twelve hours before midnight, and she's realizing that she might be falling for this guy. So she decides to purposely delay their kiss to stay in Garlandia with with Ralph Macchio forever. Oh, <gasps> what about they her kiss, son? They kiss, and it's a and it's a wonderful wonderful romantic moment. And then after they kiss, she looks into the camera and says, wait, my kid is still at home. This sets up for the sequel next year. True Love's second Christmas, Escape from Garlandia. Oh! <laughs> He's got it. Oh, we got a franchise. Holy shit. Your oh, heart yeah. out, Kevin this is gonna, The box You're office is going to eat this shit up. Okay, I'm being yeah, honest with you. thinking that Ben forgot about the kid. <laughs> yeah. As soon as... Hallmark here's franchise. They are green lighting the fuck out of this. Exactly, what do you guys yeah. think? Bills. I think Bills. green lit. I think this mm -hmm. is green lit. Easy. Oh my god! In a heartbeat. James Corden to do it though. Um. Hey Ben, great job. Great job. <laughs> great job. Big fan. Big thank fan. you. Thank you. Grant, you are up. I'm actually really glad Ben went before me because what I notice in every Hallmark franchise because you know they don't just do one movie they do sequels all mm -hmm. out the wazoo even despite all those movies there's they they bore me i am they they bore me i am irked of boredom uh oh there's there is nothing sexy there is nothing thrilling about hallmark movies and i'm gonna change that and i'm glad ben left on such a good cliffhanger of a kid being left <laughs> home by himself because forever I, for eternity, <laughs> because here's what we're gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do to make Hallmark billions. We, we're gonna revive the currently Disney-owned property, formerly Fox-owned property, Home Alone. Ain't nobody care about that shit anymore. Okay. It is now owned by the Hallmark Network. We're gonna make made-for-cable movies, and you know what we're gonna start off with? Well, let me tell you. <clears throat> let me just... Uh, Pitch you all the uh, little trailer synopsis here. <clears throat> this holiday season, everything changes. <laughs> From the studio that brought oh. you Die Hard, The College Years, and The Santa Claus 4, Die Harder, comes an all-new Hallmark <laughs> holiday adventure, Home Alone, Abyss. Rejoin Kevin McAllister, addendum, for tax purposes, the role of Kevin McAllister will be played by Joey Fatone, formerly of NSYNC. <laughs> Rejoin Kevin McAllister on an all-new Christmas mission. 
However, tread lightly, as things aren't always as they seem. Now grown up, Kevin decides to take his grumpy son on a family trip to Bermuda for a rockin' Christmas celebration. But beware, Kevin will soon find out that when you knock on certain doors, or place funny traps on them, you never know who will knock back. Kevin will soon discover that the citizens of Jingle Rock Bermuda have gotten in too deep. <laughs> <laughs> after after a Christmas ceremony gone horribly wrong, a portal into the seventh circle of hell will open. <laughs> and just like his father before him, little Kevin Jr. Addendum, Kevin Jr. will also be played this evening by Joey Fatone of NSYNC. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Jr. must defend his home, Earth, from the ultimate burglar, the Dark Lord Cthulhu. This Christmas, oh Home Alone, God. Abyss. Coming soon to the oh Hallmark Channel. Wow. Wait, so oh not only is Hallmark busting out Home Alone, they also are just, they have Lovecraft stuff. Like, they're just. Oh, my God. Well, Hall you have to revitalize the franchise. We can't keep him in that goddamn house forever. Oh <laughs> we God. can't. It's, it's Hall hey, of Cthulhu. He did a house. He did a, a New York. And now he's going to do hell. <laughs> and now he's doing a hell. That's a the hell next Lovecraft. step after New York, to be fair. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, oh, and hell seems right up fucking Hallmark's alley. <laughs> greenlit. Oh, yeah. I'm greenlit. I'm greenlit. Well, greenlit that. every day of the yeah. week. Excellent. Let's go. Fantastic. And the Let's money go, starts baby. rolling in right away. Let's go. I want it's Joey Home Alone or the Sci Fi Channel. It's like... I've never yeah. known. I I never knew that I wanted Joey Fatone to fight Cthulhu, but I do. I need to see that. <laughs> yeah. I think that's necessary. Okay. I believe it is my turn. Yeah, this movie's just coming out on Hallmark. So, like, oh. you know, I just want to let cool. you all know that. Um, so. Congrats. Yeah. So, uh, here, I'll pull it up. A Crypto Christmas. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wait. <laughs> no. Wait. My movie is starring uh, Lori Loughlin <laughs> and uh, random SAG minimum wage actor. So, mm, okay. Uh, yes. So you... You decided to skimp on the the guy. No, not I went the white with white guy. white man, not white woman. Um, white man. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so this is, a, it's yeah. a good twist. This is random cool. SAG minimum rate actor. Uh, so, cool. Um, yes, uh, it's a, Chris, a crypto Christmas, and here here's the synopsis. Uh, Lori Lachlan plays Jen Blockinger. Okay. And uh, mm. random SAG actor plays Nick Sandbride, okay? <laughs> the hustle and bustle of New York City is nothing for Jen Blockinger, the powerful yet aggressive executive of Neezer Financial Group, an investment agency specializing in new technology and market trends. Jen is tasked with starting a new crypto server farm in upstate New York. The only issue is that land must be purchased before the new year. So on December 4th, uh -oh. Jen heads up for the heads to the Adirondack Mountains and the future home of her new server farm. In the beautiful town of Hollyville, New York, Nick Sandbride's family are the owner and operators of a beautiful Christmas tree farm, the largest on the East Coast. The Christmas season means everything to the Sandbride family, and money is running dry. Nick and his family lament at the plastic hellscape of faux trees and worry that this may be their last year on the land. The bank is coming for the mortgage payments, and they don't have the money to pay. Jen, aware of the Sandbride's family's money troubles, approaches with an offer to buy the land for more money than the Sandbrides have ever seen. But Nick is hesitant. Christmas trees are more than his life's work. They represent the spirit of the holiday. That means so much to him. On a tour of the land, Nick offers to cut down a small tree for Jen's hotel, since no one should be without a Christmas tree. And her response shocks Nick she says, Christmas is nothing but a waste of time. I have work to do, not games to play. No. Huh? As she says this, she trips over a fallen branch and Nick catches her. And their eyes lock mm. for a little longer than expected. Aww. Yeah. Jen and Nick meet several times to discuss the offer on the farm. They grow closer and closer as they spend more time with each other. On the phone with the CEO of her company, Jen is informed that the deal must now close on Christmas Eve. To appease oh, no. the board. And she must do anything in her power to get the job done. Jen calls Nick and asks him to come over to the hotel for dinner. And Nick brings a Christmas tree and a bottle of wine. So as they drink and decorate the tree, Jen becomes more comfortable and reveals to Nick that Christmas was always a terrible time for her family because her dad had to work on the holiday. Nick is sorry about this and he hugs her. Jen then kisses Nick and they engage in passionate sex. 
<laughs> oh, there's a sex scene. Yeah. The <laughs> next oh, morning, needs. the yeah. next morning, Nick is awoken to the sounds of Jen on the phone with her boss, who is asking for an update. She says, "I think they'll sell today. The sun is obsessed with me." <laughs> Nick is mortified by this, and he runs home to inform his parents of the development. They agree not to sell, and they phone Jen with the bad news. Defeated, she returns to New York to her empty apartment, and it is here where she sees a Christmas card sent to her from her dad. She picks it up, remembering the beautiful times that her and Nick shared surrounding the holiday. She picks up the phone, she calls her dad, she says, Dad, Merry Christmas! I know you're busy, but could you do me a favor? This is when Santa's sleigh touches down in front of the Sand Bride farmhouse <laughs> as Jen hops from the sleigh, yelling, Nick! Nick, I'm sorry! Nick meets her outside and is overcome by the sight of Santa and Jen. Jen, what is this? Nick, this is my dad, Santa Claus. And I'm sorry for how I treated you. I love you, and I don't care about the land. Jen, I love you too. They then kiss as music swells. Nick says, but wait, your name is Blockinger, not Claus. She says, that's an alias. My name is actually Noel Claus. This Noel. is all Nick needed to hear as he gets down on one knee and pulls out his gun and he points it at Noel. He says, Noel, this is the FBI. You are under arrest oh for market God. manipulation, tax evasion, Whoa. and bribing college admission staff. We've been watching you for years. Noelle is then found guilty of her crimes and serves 15 years in a federal prison. Oh my god. Yeah. That's the story what? of a lifetime. Yes. Well, and that's a, lifetime movie. a crypto <laughs> Christmas. Oh, hell yeah. Let me... Oh, oh my god. I love that the, the crypto integration is so... It's it's pretty much only it's, barely there. Yeah, it's barely there. I really just came yeah. up with the title of Crypto Christmas and tried yeah. to work it in and a it, little bit. Fuck. And yeah. it's gonna like... But but that's gonna get people watching it. Yeah, the I think we're gonna see, are all over there. See, we're gonna make a coin. Hallmark's gonna make Elf coin. Then they're gonna release mm. NFTs of the film. It's gonna be oh, fucking yeah. big, dude. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Lori Lachlan's yep. gonna those, go back to jail. New, yeah, those are crazy. the new ornaments. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Greenlit? Yes? No? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. I mean, you said it. It's already greenlit. It is. That is true. Oh, oh, the stars oh my are god. It's greenlit. There we go. In an instant. In an instant. So we just made four Hallmark movies. We just made Easy. four Hallmark movies. We made the holidays brighter. And guys, I'm going to be honest, this was the best gift I've ever gotten. So thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. This was a blast. I had a great time. Um, and I hope I hope you guys at home liked it too. Yeah. Merry Christmas from all of us. Happy holidays. Whatever you celebrate, you. have a good one.